Good morning. <laughs> what have people are here on today? We're gonna be starting some music too. Mom, I'm putting my clothes on. Oh, okay. Me. Hey, girl. Hi, Olivia. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. Good. We went camping to Gulf Shores, and now we're in Gulf Shores. Yeah. Hello. Somebody else log on? Yeah. Oh, we need to turn it to that. Hey, Brack and Paul Wealthy. Parker girls. Hey girls, here you go. I'm going to show you. Just your body. <laughs> I think I'm going to start some music while people are logging on. So listen to nothing. Unless you guys want to talk about something. <laughs> Me too. All right, I'm gonna put on some music while we wait for our friends, okay? I'll even screen share the song. Oh, hold on, there we go. We're gonna share. Here we go. Can you hear it? Thumbs up if you can hear it. Thank you, Olivia. Thanks, Jackie. This is our theme song. Look, Courtney. This is my pain. This is my focus. You miss BBS this year, don't you? I know where my hope is. I'm living loud. I'm the chorus. Because I know oh, you're always for us. And neither way. Yeah. 
Miss Welty is going to be my storyteller again. <laughs> Don't worry. I will just do it myself. Oh, my kids get over for me. How is everybody? Good. Good? Whoa. Hanging on me. I'm going to fall off the bed. You guys have any big plans coming up? Rack and Paul Welty, do you have any big plans coming up? We're gonna we're gonna go to the beach tonight. Oh yeah, where are you going? Um, Destin. Destin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Joyce says y'all wanna go with us and babysit for me. <laughs> Look, they're like maybe. <laughs> I think we're gonna head out to the Thank beach you. later today. I don't know. How do you guys come to Destin, Courtney? Oh. Huh? Also, you guys come to Destin. It was horrendous driving in Alabama yesterday. Really? Yes. Yeah. It, but We're it was at three it, this morning. Saturday was it was Saturday though, so we'll see. Yeah. Yesterday was Andre's birthday. Yesterday oh yes! Was happy birthday! I was so happy. Did you guys have, have a great day? Mm-hmm. I saw your mom's pictures of you. It was so sweet. I was like, oh. All righty. We're going to get started. Hopefully, he hops on here soon. If she does it, you know I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, I'm Nikki. Hopefully, you know me. I'm so glad that you're here in your virtual jump. So, we're having a lot of fun this summer. Well, we're trying to, right? We're all being positive <laughs> about it. Yeah. Yeah. Rebecca, stop. All right. So we're taking a closer look at what starts with an F. Focus. Okay. Faith. Faith is trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. So we can't see God with our eyes, right? We can't just look up and see God, right? No. But we can trust God when we focus on the things he's done, like the world he's made. We can look outside and see those trees, and some of us will see a beach soon, and some of us are going to see, I mean, we went camping this past weekend, and it was great being outdoors, just seeing all that God has made. So the amazing things that we read about and his big story, that also gives us a look and the way he works in our lives every single day. So, I've got a way to start off our morning. So, it's going to get everyone moving. All right, did anybody else log on yet? Nope. All right, so this is going to get everybody moving. And it's called Focus Freeze Dance. Have any of you guys played Freeze Dance before? Yes. I think you've never played freeze dance. <laughs> Olivia, Luffy, have you guys played freeze dance before? Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah, that's our old house. So, what is supposed to freeze dance? So, it's super simple, right? It's super simple. Well, first, we're going to divide up our teams, and I seriously didn't pick this, the, they did. So it's going by your first names. If your first name is A through F, look, it's Bracken. You're red, okay? <laughs> you are red. If your name starts with G through M, which is Gentry and Gemma, that's you, right? If your name starts with N through S, that's a lot of them. That's all Rebecca, Ruben, Naomi, Olivia, and Sophie Joyce. That's you guys, right? 
So if when I hold up your color, nobody's got blue. We have nobody here with a blue. <laughs> so if I hold up your color during the song, guess what? You guys are gonna dance, right? But if it's not your color, what are you going to do? What are you gonna do? Freeze. Freeze, because it's focus freeze dance, right? Okay. So everybody needs to get up. Get up. Let's like, off, off on the bed. I'm on the scene. Can I turn on the computer? No. All righty. Are we ready? Who should I start off first? Who should I start off first? Oh, look, Jesse's hopping in, okay? All right, remember, if it's not your color, you're freezing. I'm gonna blindly pick one. All right, ready, set, red, second. All right. Green. Green. Yellow. Get it, girl. Green. Red. Can I see you? Ma'am, you're supposed to be frozen. Free dance. Green! Are you dancing to green? Remember, you're frozen if you're not going. I can't see. Maggie, you're going to be yellow. Yellow, dance. If you're not, if you're not called, then you're frozen. Frozen to freeze dance. Yellow. Hello, Jesse, Gemma, Maggie. Brent, you're going to be with red. It's glitching. It's glitching. Oh, sorry. All right, Red. Go, Bracket, go. Go, Bracket, and Grant. Everybody else is frozen. Dance. There you go. Rebecca, you're supposed to be frozen. All right, Green. Freeze if you're not green. All right, yellow! Maggie, this is you with Gentry and Gemma. Dance, Maggie. You don't have to do the moves, just dance. Breathe, breathe. Every beat is calling, every beat is calling out your name. Awesome, you guys can sit, sit down. Woo! That was fun, right? Getting a little dance-a-thon in. Oh, man. All right. Yep, you guys scooch over. All right, so that was awesome. And I bet it was a good workout too, right? Y'all are like, no, I didn't want to do it. So nice focusing on the signs. So it got a little tricky every now and then, but We'll make it work on our Zoom calls, right? We're gonna make it work. All right. Hey, Grant and Maggie, is your mommy there? Okay. 
Unmute you. There it is. There you go. The iPad wouldn't work, or the computer wouldn't work this morning, so we're on the iPad. All righty. I'm going to pull up your stuff real quick. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning, Miss Lee. Good morning, Miss Lee. I miss you guys. I hope before you all grow 14 inches, I get to see you again. Right? <laughs> all right. So we're picking up God's big story today by looking at what happened with a man named Saul. We started talking about Saul's amazing story last week. So let me catch you up. Everyone say hello. Hello. Okay. To Saul. You should know that Saul also went by the name Paul. That's because his family was Jewish, but he was also born a Roman citizen. So he was known by two different names. Saul was traveling to a city called Damascus. He wanted to stop people from believing in Jesus because he didn't believe that Jesus was the son of God. So he got permission from the high priest to arrest anyone in Damascus who followed Jesus. He planned to take them as prisoners to Jerusalem. But on the way, Jesus himself appeared to Saul in a flash of light. The light was so bright that it blinded Saul. Saul heard Jesus's voice telling him to go into Damascus, and there he would be told what to do next. The men traveling with Saul had led him into town where he stayed at the home of a man named Judas on Straight Street. There was a follower of Jesus in Damascus named Ananias. Ananias. <laughs> Ananias. In a vision, he said, go to the house of Judas on Straight Street. Ask for a man named Tarsus named Saul. Ask for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is praying. In a vision, Saul had seen a man come and place his hands on him. That man's name is, say it for me again, Nikki. Ananias. <laughs> Ananias. In a vision, Ananias placed his hands on Saul so he could see again. The problem was that Ananias had heard about how terrible Saul was. He told God how he had heard reports about Saul. He had heard how Saul had come to arrest the believers in Damascus. But listen to what God said to Ananias about Saul. He said, go, I have chosen this man to work for me. He will announce my name to the Gentiles and their kings. He will also announce my name to the people of Israel. In other words, even though Saul had made it his mission before to stop people from following Jesus, he had completely changed. Now God had big plans for him to share the good news about Jesus. As you can imagine, Ananias <laughs> must have been afraid, but he did what God said, and he went to the house and found Saul. Saul hadn't eaten or drunk anything for three days. And Ananias placed his hands on Saul and told him that God had sent him there to help him. Something like scales dropped from Saul's eyes and he could see again. He got up and he was baptized. Now Saul wanted to tell everyone about Jesus. Within days, he started teaching and preaching in the Jewish synagogues. He taught that Jesus is the son of God. Everyone who heard him was amazed. Well, there were some people who weren't really happy about Saul's change of heart. The religious leaders who lived in Damascus and even the governor of the city were angry. They thought that Saul was causing trouble. They made plans to capture and kill him. But Saul's friends helped him escape at night. They lowered him in a basket through an opening in the city wall. Saul was free. He headed back to Jerusalem. When Saul came to Jerusalem, he tried to join the other followers of Jesus, but they were afraid of him. I mean, the last time they had seen him, he had been out to get them. One man, Barnabas, had already heard Saul's story. He took Saul to visit Peter and James and the other leaders of the early church. He told them that everything that had happened to Saul in Damascus, he told them how Saul met Jesus on the road, 
and he told them about Saul's change of heart. He explained that Saul had been sharing the good news of Jesus with people in Damascus ever since. He helped the Jesus followers to see that Saul was one of them, and they welcomed him into the family. Saul stayed with one of the followers of Jesus in Jerusalem, and he preached there just like he did in Damascus. Once again, a group of religious leaders became upset with him, but once again, the believers helped Saul escape. This time, he traveled back to his hometown of Tarsus to wait for God's next directions. There were lots of people who tried to stop God's plan, but the church and the number of followers of Jesus continued to grow through the power of God's Spirit. Think of all the brave people who had faced their fears to help Saul. There was Ananias, who followed God's instructions to help Saul get his sight back. He had every reason to be afraid of Saul because based on what he had heard about him, but he had the courage to help. Then there were other believers who helped Saul escape Damascus. There was Barnabas who spoke up for Saul and helped the church leaders in Jerusalem see that he was trustworthy. And there was Saul himself. Saul was brave enough to speak out and spread the word about Jesus, even though before he had tried to stop the church from growing. Now Saul had a strong faith in Jesus that made him willing to face anyone who tried to stand in the way. Saul, Ananias, and Barnabas showed us something really important about faith. Knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. Let's ask God to be strong and brave in what we believe. So let's pray, everybody. Dear God, thank you for giving Saul another chance to follow you. His life shows us such a great example of what it looks like to have faith in you completely. Thank you for helping him and the other believers to be brave enough to tell people about you. Please give us the kind of faith that will help us face our fears too. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, get over, Ruben. So I can understand why the believers weren't so sure that they could trust Saul, right? He had been a bad guy before, and then all of a sudden he turns good. So, I mean, it would have been tough to know for sure if he had really, really changed. And everything they'd seen and heard about him was the bad stuff, right? So if I'm honest, I probably would have been scared to give Saul a chance, right? If, if you have a friend who hurts your feelings, sometimes you might be scared to trust them again. Um, and that's probably how, well, they probably felt worse about Paul because he was helping kill Christians. But anyways, so I mean, take Ananias. He must have been scared to go to Saul and help him, but he did because he trusted what God had told him. So Ananias, Ananias, Barnabas, and the other believers had courage to face their fears. They actually helped Saul. They stood up for him and, and helped others see that he had actually changed. So all through this big story that we see on our page here, all through God's big story, we can find believers who had great faith just like Saul, Ananias, and Barnabas did. These people chose to believe in what they couldn't see because of what they could see. So when we look at people in the Bible who follow Jesus, we can see great examples of what happens when we put our faith in God. The more we know about Jesus, the more we can find the courage to do the things that might be scary to us. And we need to remember that knowing Jesus can help you face your fears. So when you're afraid, God is with you. And we need to remember this, that you can trust God no matter what. Even though you can't see him, you can still trust him. He can give you the strength to do something that you're afraid to do, like maybe telling the truth. I know that when we feel like we're going to get in trouble, sometimes we want to lie about it. And so when we're afraid, though, we need to be telling the truth so we can trust in God to do that for us, right? So, um, or maybe it's being kind to someone who isn't always kind to you, like, if someone has been mean to you constantly and you're like, no, I'm not going to give them any more chances. We need to trust in God to give us that strength in order to do that, right? To face our fears. 
So remember, when we believe in Jesus, we have the help of the Holy Spirit actually inside of us. So we're never doing anything alone. The Spirit can help us face our fears and do what we know that God actually wants us to do because he still wants us to love our brothers and sisters. And even though they look different, they act different, maybe they've been mean to us, he wants us to love them no matter what, right? Okay, so if you've got your tablets, it's Miss Welty's turn. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready? And I'm going to make Miss Welty the host. Little W, right? Yep. Yeah, Ruben faced his fear at the campsite the other day. He jumped off the high dive. <laughs> Ruby. Yeah, I got my Jumped off a bridge twice. You jumped, yeah, Grant, I saw that. That was awesome. I jumped off a bridge. He jumped off a bridge? All the way up, then go walkie walkie, then go up. He was at a lake. It was over water. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I want to clear that up. <laughs> we have floors in the kitchen. Yay! Thank you. And countertops. <laughs> Yay! Awesome! I bet you're so happy, Lee. Well, we can walk on the floor tonight. Oh, and I got a new kitchen table and chairs. So hey, girl. They come back and finish. <laughs> no. You are the you're gonna be like the fifth player. You got it in. That's great. Grant Bracken wants to know how you say your name. Gojira. <laughs> is how you say it. Gojira. Gojira. It is off of Godzilla. It's one of the creatures. <laughs> I knew it had to have been like a. Godzilla and Japanese. Oh, Go Godzilla and Japanese. He's all about watching like the 1954 Godzilla. I'm the fox. Is that everybody? Wow. Hello. Everybody, isn't it? Okay. Oh. Hey, stop. Let's go. What happened to Saul on the road to Damascus at the very beginning of our story? He fell and broke his leg. He got the Rona. He was blinded by a bright light, or he went back to Jerusalem. He got the Rona. I think it's he got the Rona. Oh, it was. He was blinded by a bright light. Good job. All right. Joyce in the lead. Hey. For everything she knows. Behind me. Yeah, that's behind me. Oh, Joyce, not S. Joyce. What happened when Ananias placed his hands on Saul? He could fly, he could see again, he tickled him, or he fell down? <laughs> Sophie, get your sis. Come on. Yay! He could see again. Correct. <laughs> oh, Joyce, still in the lead. Hutch fam, Grant, Sophie. Get her, Sophie. Come on. <laughs> How did Saul's friends help him escape Damascus? In a helicopter, on a boat, in a race car, or in a basket? Yeah, in a basket. Like an Easter basket, you think? or Big basket. Oh, help with the street. Joy's still in the lead. Who helped the followers of Jesus see that Saul had experienced a change of heart? Miss Nikki, Pastor Mike, Barnabas, or the Holy Spirit? Ooh. I picked the wrong one. Oh, it was Barnabas. Bracken missed that one. I, I picked the Holy Spirit. 
Oh, oh, Joyce, Hutch fam coming in second. Who kept getting angry with Saul? The mayor, religious leaders, his neighbors, or his kids? It's Father's Day, so you can't get mad at any of your dads today. The religious leaders, yeah. Right. Grant and Hutch fam keep going back and forth. After Saul left Jerusalem, he went back to his hometown of what? Henderson, Evansville, Tarsus, or Bethlehem? I just talked this. I picked Bethlehem. Yeah, it was Tarsus. That's where he was from. I'm behind some. Oh, Hutch fam. Last question. Is it raining where you are right now? Is it here? So... This one's not for any point. <laughs> Is it raining at the beach yet, Miss Nikki? No, it's a little cloudy, but it's raining here. Yes, so one. sad. Hey, okay, let's see. In third place, Grant. I'm not even gonna try to say it. In second place, <laughs> Oh Joyce. And in first place, continuing their streak. The Hutch fam. Dun, dun, dun. Wow. And, the, and the Ginger yeah. Girls. I had a and, oh, the Parker Girls and Sophie. Good job. Hey, good job. I had enough advice and it would probably look a lot different. <laughs> it's but I don't have enough devices for all my kids. <laughs> you need to work on that, Miss Nikki. <laughs> It got you now. No, it's too much. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, bye. Olivia and Sophie, we all unmute yourself so I can just hear your sweet voices for one minute. Be careful in Florida. Bye. Thanks, you too. Bye, bye Joyce's. Oh, Did the Parker girls already leave? Yeah, heck yeah, they were like, we're out. <laughs> yeah, they bounced. Hey, bye. Bye. Dan Bracken and Ruben. Bye.